welcome to Back in Five. Today I'm quite excited to catch up with Robert from Arwen Gallery. Just recently I decided to try my hand at some oil paintings. I decided to try the technique using a palette knife. I have painted four or five so far and I have used Robert's services at framing to really enhance these paintings with the appropriate frames. The one I have behind me, we're uh, showing in this video, uh, they come along, they picked it up, we took it to their gallery and we went through the framing options. We show the technique and what they do to frame these uh, paintings and also talk to Robert about his gallery and what inspired him to open up his own gallery and run his own business. Being very independent and having difficulty working for others, I was more comfortable working for myself. The opportunity here arose because my children went to ANU and we moved to Canberra to be with them. And there was an opportunity in an empty shop here in Gungahlin for a little gallery that would perhaps operate three days a week, but very quickly became seven days a, days a week. Uh, and it's a very enjoyable, relaxing, uh, creative business. Well, there's many things. One is you're communicating with people, which I love doing. Art is a very creative thing, as well you know, and you meet some wonderful, wonderful people, whether it's people buying art or whether it's great artists. And I've had the opportunity to meet a lot of Australia's great artists and deal with a number of them. And to bring that to Canberra makes us a very unique business. It's a very much a, I hate to say, a, a one-man show, but we have I am fortunate enough to have very good staff and I've always said to people your business is only as good as your staff. So here in Gungahlin I'm very lucky we've got a wonderful clientele, we've got people that come in here not just to buy paintings but come in because they want to go into a gallery, walk around and know that they can just walk in and walk out without being pestered to buy. It's, it becomes part of the, the furniture for them and to me that's one of the most rewarding things. It's the way we do things, which is differently. We offer a hanging business. I encourage people to take paintings home to look at first, because there's nothing worse than buying a painting, looks great in a gallery, you get it home, the lighting's different, and it just doesn't work. And, and there's nothing worse than if you paid for it and you can't bring it back. So that's a very thing that we place a lot of emphasis on. Also the framing side of things, running a framing business with the gallery means that we can create frames that actually suit people's homes rather than taking something home and have to re-think about framing. Um, we deal with some of Australia's top artists. I can sell you Brett Whiteley's, I can sell you David Boyd's, Norman Lindsay's, the list goes on and on and there's very few people in Canberra that can offer that sort of uh, business. I mean there's just so many artists and we're spoiled actually for, for choice. But the, the, one of the beauties of this is that you can walk in here and we're going to have a dinner with, say, someone like Ken Knight. So we turn the gallery into a restaurant for the night and Ken will come down, as do other artists. So we're able to let people interact and meet some of Australia's finest artists. And it's something I love doing. We will continue to do it, uh, which makes us a little bit different than, than most galleries in that we... In lots of galleries, the artist comes first. This gallery the clients come first and that's how I've always operated and that's why we get so many people coming in here feeling this is part of their home and that's really what it's what it's about. We all have our follies and I, in fact I have many follies but one of them is is to set up a, a, a rogues gallery out of here of former Prime Ministers and you will see at the moment there's Keating, there's Howard, there's Hawke, uh, Julia's on the way, I think Kevin's on the way, one or two I will not put up <laughs> but, but the idea is to create a gallery that people can just wander down and it's surprising the number of people that will stand and have their photos taken with these, with these Prime Ministers. Well, probably not a fair question if you knew my age, <laughs> but in five years I still want the gallery to be here on, and I've got very good staff that will, will help do that. I, I think in five years time I'd be looking to step back a little bit, I won't tell you how old I am, but I, I see the gallery as long term, it's part of Gungahlin, it's part of this village and it's, it's part of the community and, and that's how I want to see it and if we can expand it we will, but we can't expand in size. But we 
we can expand in what we do with it and that's because we do art classes and master classes and all those sorts of things that people can come in and take, take part in. So I still want to be here in five years time. Well, what, I, what I like about Gungahlin is you have to bear in mind we've been here 20 years. So we've literally seen Gungahlin grow and all the services, the people that are moving in, the, the wonderful cross community that is there, it's quite, quite diverse. And it's lovely talking to people of different ethnic and all sorts of things. And, and that's what Gungahlin to me represents. Um, it's a great place to shop. As far as the village here, this has been here much longer than Gungahlin and it's a real hub. Uh, it, Obviously it's had its ups and downs in, in, in the past, but this has become an important part of this, this area. Firstly, go to our website, arwengallery.com. Uh, our phone number is 62302055. Wander down, stroll down to the village here, and we're quite large, people can quite see where we are. And just give us a call if they're not sure where we are, and we're more than happy to direct them.